Tomo, 20 years at the tour. Has the tour marked time for you, like watching your kids grow up marks time? This was my baby 20 years ago, and I guess it's an adult now, the Tour de France. It's loved and appreciated by a lot of Australians as a result of the SBS coverage. Tell us the change in the crew on the ground from 96 to today. Well, the crew was just three people. It was a camera operator, an editor, and myself. The car we had was a right-hand drive from the UK. Once we crossed the English Channel, well, it was redundant because I had to ask my passenger if it was safe to overtake as you can appreciate things have changed a lot big change from just doing the highlights to live coverage back then it was just top and tail with a couple of interviews following the australians back then there was neil stevens patrick yonker and scott sunderland perhaps there was only about 10 australians in all as professional cyclists back then now we've got up to a hundred so the changes have been huge is the biggest change been looking for your hotels with gps versus using a map and how's that influenced your relationship with the people you're in the car with i've aged 10 years i think as a result of pre-gps there were times when we were looking for our hotels at midnight one o'clock in the morning they'd put us in small villages it wasn't on the map but thank goodness for gps my relationship with my crew well, we get on a lot better now, let me tell you. Uh, what about your relationship at home with the introduction of Skype and FaceTime versus $30 return charge phone calls in 96? Well, Mrs. Tomolaris is a good friend of mine these days. Back then when she got the bill, she said to me, don't go to the Tour de France, we can't afford it. What about the most memorable interview? There wasn't one interview that stands out as such, uh, but Lance Armstrong gave us, SBS, so much scope. Um, at a time when I guess uh, the French media were out to get him. They had suspicions of his doping. For Lance and SBS, it was a different scenario. They knew we were a small crew, and had we asked a doping question, well, we knew and he knew that uh, the relationship would end. My relationship with Lance Armstrong and most of those who have followed his career has certainly changed from those early days. What about the fact you no longer have to go into the scrum after the stage and you send Dave McKenzie down there? I used to love the scrums. Honestly, I did. To be in that uh, situation when 198 riders make it to the finish line, huffing and puffing, sweating after 200 kilometres, I really enjoyed that. The reaction of the riders as they crossed the finish line, the instant reaction was uh, wonderful television. I do miss it. But, uh, you know, as the tour... As the tour progressed, it did get a little bit tiresome. I know what Mac is going through right now. He loves it, he says, but I'm not so sure. What are you proudest of with what SBS has delivered for the tour and for cycling? I'm proud that the psyche of the Australian television audiences has changed in July. At a time when there's NRL, AFL, the Tour de France gives the Australian audiences something different, a different option, choice, and uh, it provides them with... Well, images from the other side of the world. When the sun is shining and it's not cold, it's uh, the romanticism, I think. People want to be where we are and we can provide that. Tomo, 20 years. Congratulations. Well played. Loved every minute of it.